In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the audio panel preflight procedure. It's a six step process. The first one is going to be that we verify the pilot and copilot enunciator lights are extinguished, which are these two lights here. And when they're off, the little white light above them in the diamond shape will be gone. And we'll, we'll verify that manual squelch is set to full open. And remember that squelch it will light up on the bottom right over here when we are in squelch mode and we will turn the pilot passenger knobs clockwise two full turns to set the intercom level uh, to maximum volume for the headset and that's this inside knob over here. Once we have that we're going to adjust the volume levels for the common navs to a, a suitable level and that's done by rotating the volume knobs on the primary flight display. Next we're going to adjust the pilot passenger knob volume to get the desired intercom uh, level. And the final step will be to reset the squelch to automatic or we will adjust the squelch to whatever level we want manually. And once this procedure has been completed, pilot and copilot can change settings keeping in mind these notes above. So this should be done, they recommend, every time you get in the airplane. Uh, probably a good idea if you're flying in a rental aircraft if it's an aircraft you own and you have everything set up, as long as you don't touch it the next time you get into the airplane, there really is no reason why any of these settings should change. Maybe every two or three flights you want to verify to make sure on startup that nothing has changed, but really this is not something that should be changing from flight to flight. It's stored electronically. So that's all there is to it, and it's really that simple.